Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I have not seen this time of day in God knows how long. It is 6.30am and I'm heading to the gym. If you would have watched my I'm just drinking I'm hammering down this pre you guys. If you had seen my last video you would see I had like the world's biggest cheat weekend. Um So we are um, we're getting back into a hardcore. Um but yeah. Too many carbs, too many calories and too many sweet things. Oh my goodness. Well it's fine. Bladed eyebrows, and um, so I'll probably do like a light walk on the treadmill, and then I was thinking some glute activation, and then the leg press, and then the two leg extension machines, and then that's that because I am going to be training upper tomorrow night for my PT. So my legs aren't feeling too bad from my leg session on Sunday, so that's why I think. That's what I'm going to go with this morning. Um, but yeah. Everyone said I was insane for going back to PT with three sessions in one week. But I haven't been sore. Um, so that's why I feel like I can handle a double gym switch. Because I'm not sore after PT. Let's see if I regret saying this. But let's hope that I am correct in thinking I can't have a, I can't come again tonight to achieve the double jump sesh. And then I think I think that is right though. I think it should be like an 8, 8.30, which is like a decent finish time to get to the gym as well. Um but yes. That is the plan. <laughs> Okay, so it is one minute past eight and I'm just leaving. I did um, the 
treadmill for half an hour, the rower for 10 minutes. Um, leg press, two leg extensions, and then like this upper body uh, workout. Just because I'm really trying to work on that back, that back fat. Um, don't like hang like when I was just on the treadmill. I was just like, I don't like the look of that. So I just thought I'd work on it a little bit this morning. So I did three sets of twelve on that, um, and then just another five minutes on the treadmill. And now I'm out. I'm looking pretty shiny. <laughs> um, but I didn't sweat too much. The brows are good. Uh, it's quite a nice little white session. I've gone back to... I'm so behind on Olivia Jarvis's videos. So I've gone back and I was watching her videos. I was just having a chill. Watching her videos whilst working out. Which was quite nice. Um, oh. oh my eyebrows are dry. I need to get my stuff on an ASAP rock. Um, so yes, then, uh, so I cooked my chicken last night. I was exhausted last night because uh, I didn't, I stayed up too late the night before and then um, I was obviously up early for work. And then, oh my god, I forgot my pre-workout yesterday. So because I got up out of bed late, I quickly had to pack my bag and I forgot my pre-workout. And pre-workout's my coffee because I don't like coffee. And all day, I was like, so I can tell I need it. Um, so I was extra tired because I hadn't had that up to the point where... I had the worst migraine last night, like behind this eye, because um, I was so tired. Um, I think I was going to sleep for like half past ten, which is pretty late considering I was so tired. But anyway, um, for me that's early, and I feel so much better this morning. Like when my alarm went off, like yes, I was a little bit tired and I could have slept more, but I was like, no, we need to like be better up here. So I got myself to the gym and I do feel a little bit better. But where was I going with this? This is my brain. But I don't even know where I was going with that. Oh, I was so tired, right? Yeah. So I cooked my chicken and obviously I fell asleep. And my dad usually will like put the lid on my stuff and put it in the fridge for me. And he didn't. So now I'm like, I can't eat that chicken because it's been left out on the side all night and the lid was off. So I put it in the fridge when I was leaving to come to the gym and the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, I can't eat that. I don't... And it's a whole lot of chicken wasted. <sighs> so I'm going to have to buy more chicken tonight. But I don't know. I just, I can't, because especially because I really eat it. and I never drive this way anymore so when I do I'm just like what the fudge is this 
but it looks like there's traffic so my dad should definitely be up by the time I get back so I can get my salmon straight in the oven. that food guys i've got to cook it i've got to eat it so i guess i'm on a broccoli for breakfast it is how annoying is it i've got the vegetables and protein in the wrong place on my plate <sighs> how round does my head look but i just finished my breakfast and i'm just going to finish it off with this my friend jenny gave me this i ate half yesterday i'm gonna have the other half today it's where did she get this on? B&M's. And it's just like a sort of caramel boost thing. But I can make it fit into my carbs and stuff. So yeah, just going to finish off with this. And then I'm going to brush my teeth and head to Tesco. I'm going makeup free today because I had a peel yesterday. Uh, my auntie's doing this new, um, what's it called? She's doing peels now, so I'm testing that out. So I've just done my skincare and then I have to put some SPF on. The sun has gone away. Well, that's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, breakfast. Good evening. So I'm not even drinking. But I said she was going to go to the gym or trying to, you know, try this two day gym routine. Um, so I got myself some chicken slices for dinner, well, this morning. My, oh, I don't show you my wrap, sorry. Um, they were carborific. So I've gone over my carbs by, I think, only two grams, which is not that bad, but I've gone over. So I'm going to have to switch up what I'm having for my dinner, so I can't have what I took with me. So now I'm going to have to go to Aldi and figure out what I'm going to have for my dinner. So the gym just had to be like, shooped, um, especially from the real one. So, yeah. Chicken slices, like the, are they, are they processed? I don't know. I just thought they'd be okay. They're not. So clearly today's a dirty keto day because I had that half of that protein bar and these chicken slices. I don't know. So, yeah, we're going to go see what Aldi's saying. Um. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to have for my dinner instead of going to the gym. But it's fine because I've reached my step goal. I went to the gym this morning. I've had all my water. But it's been a very good day in comparison. Like, you do not need to go to the gym twice in one day. That's just me being a bit of a sociopath trying to undo the weekend. But it's fine. So, yeah. switched it up and used tomato puree because uh, that's what I usually have I chickened out of using the fake away pizza sauce so I'm just in the decon room at work and I've got a muffin a chocolate muffin with Mars and a Maltese and a white chocolate button on and like chocolate frosting and a chocolate covered Krispy Kreme donut off patients and I've not had them because I'm like, I'm fully two days back into keto. And if I eat these, it's just undone. But it was bad enough yesterday, my mum brought Marks and Spencer's red velvet cake in. And I cut it up for her and I gave it her and I didn't have any. And then, so I'm just coming on here just to be like, 
I've got this, I've got these two things downstairs. Oh, I'm not gonna do it. I've got an hour left <laughs> of the day to get through. Can I do it? Um, so today, what have I had? Oh, I've had some of my guilt-free, like dairy-free, everything-free chocolate buttons and a wrap that had some cream cheese on and some pepperoni and cheese and do you know what I mean? Just like keto friendly food, but I've only had that. So I am hungry. Um, so I'm gonna have my protein shake at some point. Um, I'll have probably, should I have it off the walk home? Uh, I got PT at seven tonight. The willpower, the willpower, like I, oh. I want that muffin so bad because it's everything I like. Do you know what I mean? Chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. Like I used to make jokes that my hair's getting washed tonight. Um, I used to make jokes that I am the colour that I am. <laughs> the colour of all the chocolate that I eat. I'm not going to be bad. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I just, I just thought I'd pop on and be like, I've not done it, I've not caved, but the struggle is real. I'm just started drinking some water, staring at the muffin. I don't know what you mean. You're not good to me. Obviously, when I reach my goal, that stuff I can have in moderation, but like, not after the weekend I just have, like, that is just, it's too soon. It's I'm just finishing this off. <laughs> Needs most. I did it. I did have a cupcake. Um, I'm just on my way to go see Max now. Uh, I'm not seeing him in over a week. So I'm going to get a quick hour with him before I go to PT. Um, yes, very proud of myself. Uh, I'm sure I've not got my water bottle for PT because I have a different water bottle for at work. Yeah. Might have to, do you know what, we'll do a quick car unboxing of my Naked Harvest. Um, my neighbour just gave it to me as I was getting in my car. So Naked Harvest did a mystery box and Oh, I picked one. Which one did I get? Did I get the wellness one? There was two different boxes that you could get and obviously I had to get one because I needed to order my collagen anyway. So part of me was hoping there was collagen <laughs> in this box, but we'll see when we get to Max's. It will have to be a pretty quick unboxing. Um, but yes, how exciting. Uh, you know, I was just like looking at my eyebrows and um, the scabs have started to come off and they're looking a lot more natural and a lot more how I like them to look. Um, oh. We are four days in. So yeah, super natural. And the colour that she does them is like the perfect ashy brown to what my natural eyebrows are. Which do what cracks me up that my eyebrows are like an ashy brown shade, but my hair when it gets bleached pulls yellow. It pulls so warm. And you'd think it would pull ashy as soon as my eyebrow hairs are usually naturally ashy. Um but yes. I also want to get some hair dye because we're not going to be a full blonde anymore. Um, basically, my boss was like, why don't we use your natural tone black, and have you have like a balayage sort of effect? So I got rid of all of the fully blonde girls on my Pinterest and started looking up some rooted blondes. I'll throw some up on screen as I'm talking through this so you can see what it is that I'm going for. Um, because I've actually never given dark hair or anything like that a chance. Like, the longest I've gone, I think was like nine months. Um, but that's not... That, 
I'd had like highlights and stuff to like in between so it wasn't you know, like a full on um, dark moment yeah is it even nine months was it six months I don't know but I've never given it a go so all of these pictures that I'm showing you this is what we're gonna go for so I need to add a root to my hair extensions um, so I'm gonna nip and get a hair dye after work after work after PT because obviously it's my anniversary tomorrow and I just wanna like have my hair extensions and they look nice we're only going to the summer but it's just nice to do your hair and it's just nice to have my extensions in and like have my hair be long and glamorous so yeah we need to add a root to those hair extensions but when the wind blows it's not um too obvious that i'm wearing hair extensions so yeah i'm gonna be a balayage babe yeah like a balayage like drag through sort of effect um it'll be interesting to see where my hair's up to for my birthday at the minute it's like is it just past my shoulders i'll show you what it's like after i wash it later um Mystery box full time. Surprise! You've discovered our new whoa cookies and cream. <gasps> what? Okay, so this is what I ordered. I'm pretty sure. So, love vanilla maple chai moon milk. I had a sample of this. Gorgeous green, some very vanilla. Yes, I enjoy that. Obviously, I've got the new 14 to try. Oh, vanilla pancake batter. Oh, salted caramel. I love that new milk as well. Uh, I think this might be another mug. This is going to be a bit harder for my hand. Did I get another mug? I did. So now I've got two of the mugs. You've seen this before on my channel. If you have watched it, and what is this? <gasps> oh, I think this. Oh, how exciting! This is the glass tumbler. I think. How exciting! It's gonna be perfect to have my gorgeous greens in. <gasps> Yes, love it. I've just got out my PT session and we did upper body. Um, I'm just heading home now. Uh, just completely realized I've got, I've got, I forgot to get some gloves from work for dyeing my hair extensions because the gloves that come with the hair dye are like, they're never any good. So I wanted to get some ones, so I'm not gonna be able to dye my hair extensions. So, my eyebrows are itchy. We're just gonna have to leave them fully blonde for the moment. Um, but I don't think I've got any mushrooms. I'm gonna cook my dinner for tomorrow as well. I'm gonna do my Palo Pesto to have tomorrow. Um, so, my salmon has to be cooked today. So, I'm having salmon tonight, and then tomorrow I will have salmon and Palo Pesto.
left work. Finished early because it is mine and Max's anniversary. Um, there is no uh, diet today because, um, you guys, I've gone in and out of illness all day at the thought of the fact that me and Max were play fighting yesterday and he's pulled like my earring forward. So the front of the earrings come off and the back of the earring is in my ear and my ear is closed over it. My boss tried to like push it out this morning but it didn't happen. Um, <laughs> so I've got to go to the piercing place potentially. I'm going to see if my friend might try and like slice it out at work because we've got to stay around um, single use blades and stuff. Like I just... I, Be low carb when you're dealing with this there's just no way it doesn't hurt it's not um infected or anything but when i push it it just it, it, it doesn't want to set free and the back of these earrings what i got on pierced with they're not the normal backs they're like little flowers so We are going to watch Doctor Strange tonight and I'm going to have some treats for my anniversary. I just don't know how this has happened. How is the back of my earring in my ear? Like, that can only happen to me. Okay, so it is now. Friday afternoon and I'm just off to get my hair done. I left work early and um yes I also got my ear pierced. Okay guys, well did I get it pierced? It was already pierced. I went to the shop where I got it done and she said that what everyone could feel was a, was it a healing lump, a trauma lump or something like that. Um, but obviously because that many different people had squeezed it, it was just, it was just getting more tender and bigger. So, um, she well and truly investigated it. She said to put both of uh, oh, and she also looked at the back of this earring and she was like, there's no way that that is in your ear. And I was like, oh, right, okay. Um, so she was well and truly investigated it, she was like, no, it's definitely just a trauma lump. Um, I can get something through it, do you want me to put something in it? So obviously I said yes, because I want my ears to be even, and here we are. I got some more solution to make sure I really clean it. Uh, she's put a bigger bar into a lot of the swelling, because obviously my ear, my ear was swollen. Um, and she said, once I can start to see more of the bar to go in, I shall swap it for a smaller bar and we'll just go from there. And she said, hopefully I can find this earring. Um, because I just, I don't know what has happened. It's obviously come out somehow. Um, but yes, uh, it wasn't too painful. Just in case this happens to anyone, it wasn't too painful. Like getting it pierced the first time was worse. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to be extra, extra careful. I'm going to start sleeping with my ear in the neck pillow again. And I just, it could only happen to me, right? I still don't know how it even happened, to be honest. It's just a weird one. A weird one. It's going to be fun putting my headphones on again. Let's, that's, that's just when I thought it was getting better to put my headphones on. I had to put the hole in again. But yes, I'll see you after my hair. It's actually the day later and I've realised that this video has probably gone on for about a week. And that was completely unintentional, but you've got a bit of workout footage. Did you get a bit of food? Um, 
got a bit of everything. I've got my car windows down because me and Max ate a chippy in my car three days ago and my car smells a bitch. And it smelled really strong the day, I don't know where to do actually. It smelled really strong the day, like when we come out of the cinema, I was like, oh my God, I probably left any fish in here. And he claims not, and then it was a little bit stronger than after, and now it's just lingering. But do you know when you're just like, where, why? But yeah. I'm going to end this video here because, like I said, it's gone on for about a week. My hair is not styled how one would wish because I had it wavy yesterday, and then I woke up this morning and I was like, I don't know what happened whilst I was asleep basically so I've kind of straightened it but then tried to do something with my hands and uh, I don't have the tools at Max's house and I just thought my hair would be okay um, yeah this, this is what I'm working with um, but yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you all in a couple of days with another one